So next from the Legion of Superheroes 12 pack uh, from DC Universe Classics, only available from MaddieCollector.com, uh, we have Lightning Lad, one of the other founding members of uh, the team. Pretty standard older teen body. Uh, really, uh, the sculpt has no added features. Uh, it's all painted details. And he's got this pretty cool looking, I guess, 70s, 80s hair. Uh, it's just, you know, it is a great sculpt. Um, I really like the way the hair kind of is wavy, even though it is a kind of a dated look. You get some really nice details in the hair. Uh, you even see some sideburns there. As far as paint, uh, it's okay. I do have a little bit of nits to pick. Um, primarily the fact that the white portions of his costume, or what are supposed to be white portions of his costume, come out uh, really as gray, or, or grayish white. The rest of the paint job is quite good. There's no real problems here. The lines are nice and clear. Um, there's a little bit of I don't know if that's extra paint or whatever from some some from something else, but there is a little bit of orange there. Looks like some of the paint from his hair, but you can't really notice it. Nice little legion ring there. You can uh, make out the legion symbol on his ring, um, and it's nicely painted in a gold paint for articulation. It is pretty basic DC Universe Classics articulation. His head goes up and down. Um, and it, oh, it does have this kind of new forward and back movement uh, that gives you a little bit more um, tilt to the head. Uh, but other than that, it's the older bodies. Uh, Arms go all the way around, out and in, rotate at the bicep, bend at the elbow, rotate at the wrist, ab articulation, uh, it's slight but it's there, waist articulation, legs go forward, back, out to the side, rotate at the thigh, bend at the knee, and bend at the ankle. As I said, Lightning Lad is a founding member alongside Cosmic Boy and Saturn Girl. And so he first appears in Adventure Comics number 247 in 1958. And his real name is Garth Rands. Uh, and he comes from Winneth, or Winath, or Wynath, depending upon how you want to say it. Uh, the, the thing is on, on Winneth, which which I like, which is the way I like to see it. Uh, everybody is born twins. Now they can be male and female, or male and male, or female and female. However, his older brother is kind of unique in that uh, he was born alone, uh, which is very 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 rare. He's kind of different, and that plays into the history and story of uh, them and the Legion. Um, so, as a as a kid, he and his sister were off chasing uh, chasing their older brother, who uh, had uh, basically run away from home. And all three of them ran into this herd of electrical beasts. And they all received the their electrical powers due to their exposure to these animals. So as a part of the Legion, uh, 
he does eventually get a romantic get into a romantic relationship with Saturn girl and actually uh, marries her and uh, they have several children uh, one of which is tied to the origin of their uh, fatal five enemy Validus. Uh, I believe that he is one of the first legionnaires to actually die. Um, however, he is resurrected um, in, uh, by Saturn Girl, and uh, she has arranged things to uh, so that one of the he will be resurrected, but at the cost of one of the other legionnaires. And uh, it was her uh, ambition to be the one that would uh, sacrifice her life uh, to get him back. However, uh, she was spared by uh, having the uh, the shape-changing pet of Chameleon Boy assume her shape and take her place. You know, it was what it's never really been settled uh, whether if the Garth Rands was truly resurrected or the fact that it might be Prody's mind uh, that thinks it's Garth Rands. And uh, regardless or of that, it was basically Garth Rands who uh, was resurrected. He's had lots of changes over the years as a legionnaire. He uh, at one time lost his arm and it was replaced with a bionic one. He along with several other legionnaires were cloned and so he had to a deal with a clone that took his name, Lightning Lad, and I think for a while he used the name of Livewire. Now, he unfortunately has not been uh, represented well in the animated series, and all his appearances have basically been non speaking uh, roles uh, or cameos in both the Superman animated series and the Justice League uh, Justice League Unlimited series. However, he, there was a live-action version of him in Smallville, and he was played by the actor uh, Callum Worthy. And uh, so that's it for uh, Garth Rands or Lightning Lad. Stay tuned for more reviews of the uh, Legions from the 12-pack set from uh, available from MattyCollector.com. And until my next video, I'll see you.